Today's Valentine's Day. As if you couldn't tell from uh, the this red. subtle uh, outfit. That, uh, well, I, no help from Dan with the maroon purple well, this, tie. This is purple. This, this is something stronger than love. Okay. This is love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Dan, if you find yourself in the extreme procrastinator category, we are here for you. I have found myself in that category many, many times. <laughs> Not this year, however. I'll tell you more about that later. Specifically today, Lindsay Janice, ABC's Lindsay Janice, is here for you. She joins us now from L.A. with some creative ways to have a great time and apparently avoid making it look like you threw it all together at the last minute. Lindsay, you are wearing uh, the color of love as opposed to the color of love. Take it away. <laughs> I am indeed. Thanks, Dan. Hello, Paula. We all leave things to the last minute, but if you don't have a dinner reservation or a babysitter or even a gift, it really isn't too late to put something together and make it look like you've been planning it for weeks. It's Valentine's Day and love is in the air. But it may feel more like panic if you've waited until now to get your special someone that special something. I'm trying to choose between chocolate and vanilla right now. Not to worry. We've got some last minute tips for your romantic survival. Marvin Velasquez of Super Date Planners, The Heart Bandits, says you don't even need obvious go-tos like a trendy restaurant or a couple's massage to make your special someone feel whisked away. It's the morning of. What do you suggest? Get them pampered, get their nails done, their hair did. How can you make it look like you've planned this for weeks? Call ahead and arrange for there to be strawberries and champagne brought in. Ooh, thank you. Look at those chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, do you know me or something? And a final touch that shows you've been paying attention. How did you know? What are your favorite? You're good. To give it that thoughtfully planned shine, you can end it with a romantic dessert, swanky live music lounge, or even a special picnic in front of the fireplace. And don't rule out an impressive table for two. New apps Resi and Table 8 allow you to buy someone else's reservation at the hottest restaurants in town. If that all sounds overwhelming, decorating guru Francesco Bilotto says in less than an hour, you can turn your dining room into a sentimental and festive lover's getaway. Go to your Christmas storage and grab anything that's red. Cut out little hearts, write little messages like love. Print out your favorite love song and wrap it around a candle. A simple white napkin, a simple white plate, the perfect romantic table setting. All right, and of course, don't forget the gift. Our experts say steer clear of cheap drugstore chocolates and cliche red roses. If you can pick it up at a gas station, it's probably not going to go down well. One tip for inspiration, go to your lover's Pinterest page before you go to the store. Also, whatever you do, don't give yourself up. Your Valentine has to think that you've been planning this for days, even weeks. Dan and Paula, four months. I feel like you could do good planning at a gas station. I think so, record. too. <laughs> some <laughs> like, some you beef cannot. jerky sticks and Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> and just, no kissing for you, Paula. <laughs> just, just in my defense, by the way, this word lerve, I didn't just make it up. It's from the uh, Woody Allen movie, Annie Hall, in which he says, oh, love right. isn't strong enough a word. Lerve is what uh, we've got for you.